hormone battlefield. Human-like facial contour. I don't know. Hey everyone! Okay, so today I have my eye makeup done, but I don't have any makeup on my face. And the reason is because I'm going to show you how to cover up acne blemishes. I have a couple of pretty red spots that are healing now. This one was really raised yesterday and honestly I know you guys are gonna tell me I'm not supposed to do this and I already know I'm not supposed to do this. My dermatologist has told me. Looking me in the eye very seriously. You're not supposed to pick at your zits and stuff. But I did and so now it's just like red and angry and gross. I have like good to okay skin but here and there I do have breakouts and lately I've been battling with kind of a lot and I'm not exactly sure why typically my breakouts are associated with uh, hormones a lot or a bad diet or like not getting enough sleep and so basically these are just the few steps that I take to uh, cover up my situations works for me maybe it will work for you my first step always always is moisturizer and especially when I have uh, spots or healing spots. Now they're kind of dry and semi-healing slash semi-active. I don't even know, it's disgusting. Um, the one that I use is Cetaphil Oil Control Moisturizer and this has SPF 30. I think sun protection can help you even if it's just a little bit with uh, the scarring that can come after. So I already use this and then I also use my primer. This is my all-time favorite primer, the Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer. It's oil-free and this also has SPF of 15. I love my SPF and I just go with it. This helps makeup stick on and uh, last through the day. You definitely need all the help you can get when you're trying to cover some situations on your face. My two favorite foundations that I use whenever I need some like coverage, some real coverage, are a Revlon Color Stay, and this one is Combination to Oily Skin, and also CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous 3-in-1 Foundation. Today I'm going to use the Revlon because I think the color goes with my like fake tanness a little bit more. I'm sure I look white as a ghost right now, but I promise I just used my fake tan, so this one's better for me. To apply this, I'm going to be using the Makeup Geek Face Buffer Brush. This is a good brush for this foundation because you can kind of like stipple it on for good coverage and then also blend it. When I'm dotting the foundation on my face, I tend to dot some directly onto the spots because it kind of concentrates it. And now, like I said, I'm just using kind of like a pressing, stippling motion as well as like a blending motion. When you stipple and press, it gives you more coverage. And now you can see I did get some pretty good coverage from the foundation, but you can still see the spot. So now I'm going in with concealer. For general redness and under eye concealing, I use a different concealer, but for blemishes, I really like to use a stick concealer or like a more solid concealer, like one that would be in a pot. This one is the Hourglass Hidden Concealer in the color Natural, and it's just a stick like this. I try to use a concealer for blemishes that is pretty close to my skin tone because I don't want to end up highlighting it. That is pretty much the last thing I want to do. I'm dotting it on with my finger, just right over the area. That's a healing one, it's almost all gone. My chin is continuously healing because it's like a rack hormone battlefield. And now I'm going in with like a mini flat top kabuki brush and I'm just going to do my best to blend that concealer without taking any of it away. Sometimes I do kind of like a little patting motion and that can work. You definitely don't want to like lift any dry skin because then you've got a whole other issue on your hands. And that's why the moisturizing step is very important. Now that I've covered my blemishes with concealer, I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna do the other concealer, which is not what this video is about, so I'm just gonna kind of like speed through it and we can move on to setting everything. Now I am fully concealed and I'm ready to set that concealer. I mainly focus on setting the concealer because the foundation that I used pretty much sets itself. I really like to use the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder and I use the color Dim Light. This one just gives like a nice natural set. I don't know, it's not like overly matte and I think I was just blinding you with a mirror, excuse me. I use a little uh, mini duo fiber brush like this and I am really, really careful and I just kind of like dot it over the areas where I have the blemishes because you don't want to 
move your concealer and you definitely don't want to like overset either but I'm just kind of going over all the areas where I concealed because that's how I do it now that all my concealer is set with the translucent powder I like to add just a little bit more coverage by using the MAC Skinnerlite Skinnerlized? Hmm, interesting. By using the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. And I just go over those spots just a little bit more. The reason why I use the translucent and then I use the skin tone powder is because I don't want the skin tone powder to really like cling to the stickiness or like the wetness of the concealer. And then it like looks really cakey. So I use just like a little bit of transparent first to set it. And then I go in with the skin tone because it adds just a little bit more coverage, but it doesn't like cling and look cakey. I hope you know what I mean because sometimes I do this in videos and people are like, you are over setting everything, what's wrong with you? And really when I use powder products, I really only use like a little bit. So if I'm using 15 powders, don't panic. All right, and those are my basic steps to uh, conceal blemishes and acne marks. You can still kind of see like very minor darkness. I'm not going on a red carpet. I'm just like going out to a show tonight. So um, I'm just gonna finish up the rest of my steps and keep talking to you as a finished human, okay? BRB. All right, so now I finished all my other makeup. I did like a little light contouring bronzing blush. Definitely looks like it has a little bit more human-like facial contours. It's a good look for me. I'm gonna go ahead and list all the products that I use down below, even the ones that you did not see. I really hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope these tips and tricks help you. Thumbs up this video if you liked it. Um, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I would really appreciate it. And if you have, thank you so much. You are my people, and I love you. And uh, if you wanna find me in other places on the internet, I have Instagram, Tumblr, Twitter, Facebook, all of those things, it's Leanne Says. I'll put the links down below. And as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, everyone! And my nose is like constantly turning red. I don't know why. It's like a strange phenomenon in my life that I do not like. I finish in my natural skin tone. I don't know. This helps your makeup not to look like it's an inch thick. It's nice for me. I make a lot of playlists like on Spotify and stuff and probably spend a little too much time on things like that. I don't know. Is, it a way, is there a way that I can share those with you guys? I don't know. Tell me. I don't know. Maybe I can like put them on Tumblr or something and then share them that way. Would that be cool? Do you want to see that?